It's finals week and I desperately have to do this homework assignment for my computability and complexity class. And that's why I'm doing an unrelated Python project. Basically the idea is rap music videos. It'd be really funny if they had captions that were polite and grammatically correct and didn't use any modern slang. So what I'm doing is I'm using the YouTube DL Python library and then this other one that can get YouTube captions. So I take those and then in Langchain, which is this Python library, I basically feed the captions into it and prompt it to rewrite them all in polite. And then, because I have FFmpeg installed locally, all I have to do is write those new funny captions out to an SRT caption file, and then FFmpeg has this filter that can just combine these and hard write it onto the YouTube video. We get a weakness. You gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances. Vanessa nigga with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. Parmesan with my accountant lives. In fact, I'm down in this. You say with my boobay tastes like Kool Aid for the analyst. Girl, I can buy a Westie world with my base stuff. Ooh, that pussy good. Won't you sit it on my taste buds? I get way too petty. Won't you let me do the extras? Pull up on your block and break it down. We playing Tetris. AM to the BM, BM to the AM phone. Piss out your per diem. You just gotta hate them funk. If I quit your BM, I still rock Mercedes funk. If I quit this season, I still be the greatest funk. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke, put a baby in a spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note. It's levels to it, you and I know. Bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Hold up, Be humble. Hold up, bitch. Sit down. Now it's awesome that this works, but it's far from complete. Main problem is that my prompt is a little weird because I just banged this together and I'm using some kind of depreciated code for uh, Langchain because I got this off some kind of blog. You know how those are, they're all over the place. Uh, but it does seem to work for the most part, except for the FFmpeg performance at the end. I was testing this earlier in the day and I was like in this place with a lot of girls and my laptop started taking off. So I had to run away. Uh, while I was rendering a 21 Savage video, which is honestly probably the first time that combination of events has ever happened to someone. That's pretty cool. It's a little weird, some of the stuff that it outputs, it's not perfect. I wish it had like more context, which I'll experiment with chunking more. And also like, if I could have a lexicon file, like a RAG, retrieval augmented generation, like a, a vector database of modern terms and like what their language equivalent is, because some things it doesn't really understand yet. I don't, I mean, which is reasonable, like, who really knows sometimes, like, some of these verses, especially, like, the Kendrick spits are just, like, so, like, reference heavy, and, like, you need, like, a, a PhD in um, rap culture to really dissect some of the, the illusions that some of these rappers are getting at, and other ones are just, like, they're not, they're not as deep as Kendrick, but they're just kind of mumbling nonsense, you know what I mean? I be the sky like a pallet. She got face console. It's also a lot worse at doing it for British rap. I tried it on a Central C video, and it just does not understand anything, which is kind of fair. I don't really either. I think the next business stage for this is mass downloading, like, highlight clips from YouTube videos, which is a whole challenge in itself. And then once I have those, like, auto-captioning these, and they have to be kind of slow, as someone pointed out. Like, if I'm using Rap God by Eminem, the captions just go by too quickly. But if I can find, like, reels of high-quality background footage with, like, the most famous part of rap videos and then auto-layer these captions on, this isn't a lot of effort. And I have access to this supercomputer because of this random internship I'm doing with vascular research. So, theoretically, I could run this in parallel on hundreds of cores and just upload tons and tons and tons of these all the time. It's just going to be, like, a data collection game at that point. And also, like, I'm not exactly sure what the copyright rules are around that. I think it falls under creative use if you're captioning over it. But I might also have to render some kind of 3D animation brain rot thing I can put at the top. It's got to be, like, super low effort, though, and, and easily parallelizable. I should really get to work on this homework assignment because it's due tonight.